I just found this simple one-page website that's secretly making over $15,000 every single month with zero effort. Just look at these analytics. 1.5 million monthly visitors pulling in a $10 RPM, which means they're generating massive passive income just from Google AdSense on what looks like a basic time zone converter. Here's what's crazy. Most people think you need years of coding experience to build something like this, but I'm about to prove them completely wrong. I have absolutely zero coding knowledge, zero web development experience, and I'm going to recreate this exact money-making website using nothing but one AI tool. We're going to let artificial intelligence handle all the technical features, connect Google AdSense for that passive ad revenue, add Stripe for premium features, and by the end of this video, you'll have a complete blueprint for building your own potential 15K monthly passive income website. This is literally the future of online business. While everyone else is still learning to code, we're going to let AI do all the heavy lifting and start generating income today. The AI tool that we're going to use is Replit. With my code CC, you will get 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description down below. Let's start by laying the groundwork for our app. We'll focus on creating a clean one-page web app that helps users convert time zones and calculate time or date differences. I want this app to have a straightforward, user-friendly layout broken down into sections like time zone conversions, time slash date calculators, meeting planners, and an AI assistant to make everything even more efficient. Here's the prompt we'll give Replit. Build a one-page web app. The app should have a clean and modern user interface and be designed to help users convert time zones and calculate time date differences. The page layout should include sections, organizing the single page layout to include time zone conversions, time date calculators, additional utility tools like meeting planners, and an AI assistant. After giving Replit this prompt, it now displays a visual preview of the app, which serves as our design reference. As you can see, the app comes with a one-page format that includes time zone conversions, date calculators, meeting planning, and an AI assistant. Everything looks good, so go ahead and click Approve Plan and start to begin building. Now let's bring in a key feature, which is the global time zone converter. This tool will allow users to effortlessly compare time across various locations around the world. It will support major time zones from regions like North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, Africa, and South America covering hundreds of cities and regions to ensure accuracy. This is the prompt we're setting up for Replit. Add time difference converter among different time zones worldwide, allowing users to easily compare two or more locations. This feature should support major time zones across North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, Africa, and South America, and must cover hundreds of cities and regions globally to ensure worldwide accuracy. After that, the section is now updated to Global Time Zone Converter, where users can convert time between cities around the world. You can either search and filter time zones or use the drop-down menu to select cities from a global list that includes all major regions. So let's try converting a time zone, for example. There you go. It works seamlessly. Users can select two or more cities or regions, and the app will instantly display the time difference between them, making it easier to plan across time zones. At the bottom, you can compare up to eight time zones at once. Just hit the plus button and you can add another time zone to mix in a snap. It makes comparing time differences across multiple locations super easy time and date calculators. This tool will let users quickly add or subtract time or even figure out the exact duration between two dates or time. Plus, it takes daylight saving time into account, so all calculations will adjust perfectly based on the location and the season. Pretty neat, right? So let's feed this prompt into Replit. Include time and date calculators for various time-related computations such as adding or subtracting time, or calculating durations between two dates or time. 
Be sure to include daylight saving time information and handling so all calculations adjust correctly based on the location and season. Now the section is updated to advanced time and date calculator, where users can quickly add or subtract time or calculate the time passed between two events. For example, you can check how many days are between two dates or figure out what time it will be five hours from now in a specific location. So let's give it a try. I'll choose the current date and time, select a time zone, set the operation to add, set the amount to 10, and choose days as the time unit. After clicking the button, the result shows the accurate future and time. You can also use the duration calculator by simply selecting the time zone, then click calculate duration. Okay, there is an error. I'll take a screenshot and send it over to Replit to fix it. Let's give it another shot. This time, I'll select the time zones again and click the button. The results are now accurate, taking into account the selected cities and the current season. It works perfectly. Additional tools. We all know how tricky it can be to schedule meetings across different time zones, especially when daylight saving time comes into play. To make life a lot easier, we're adding a meeting planner and daylight saving time feature. This way, users can easily find the best time to schedule calls or events, no matter where they're located. And to make things even quicker, we will integrate a time zone search so you can instantly find a city or time zone and check the full list of worldwide time zones. So we'll input this prompt into Replit. Provide users with meeting planners and daylight savings time information, making it easier to schedule calls or events across different regions. Also integrate a time zone search functionality to let users quickly find a city or zone and display a complete list of worldwide time zones for quick reference. Now that we've got that set up, let's try it out. I'll select three cities from the different continents, New York, London, and Manila. The app shows a neat timeline view that lays out all the selected time zones side by side. Right underneath, you'll find the working hours clearly marked with optimal hours, good hours, and best meeting times, making it a lot easier to find the perfect time for your meeting. If you're ever unsure about a city's time, the full list of global time zones is available for your quick reference. Just search for a city and you'll instantly get the current time. AI feature. The original time management app already has some great tools for time zone conversions and scheduling, but we're going to make it even better. We're adding an AI feature that'll make the app smarter and way more user-friendly. Now, instead of filling out all those details manually, you can just ask the app questions in natural language and it'll handle the tricky stuff for you, making time-related queries feel like a simple conversation. So here's the prompt we'll give Replit. This feature should use natural language processing for complex time queries like what time will it be in Tokyo when it's 3 p.m. tomorrow in New York? And it should also include smart meeting time suggestions for multiple participants in different time zones. Now that the AI assistant is up and running, users can just type in their time-related questions in plain language, no more messing around with time zones and fields, which is basically that simple. So let's give it a try. I'll type in, what time will it be in Tokyo when it's 3 p.m. tomorrow in New York? And just like that, the app understands the question and gives me the equivalent time in Tokyo based on the current time zone settings. It even offers quick suggestions, making it super easy for users to pick a time right away. Monetization. The real fun starts when you figure out how to make money from it. That's why we're adding Google AdSense to the mix. We'll place the ads in spots that aren't in your face, like sidebars or between tool sections, so we can start making some revenue without interrupting the user experience. And the best part is that these ads will blend right in, looking just like the real deal with Google standard ad styling. Here's what we'll tell Replit to do. Add Google AdSense to the website to show ads or ad banners, placing them in non-intrusive locations such as sidebars or between tool sections. The ad placeholder should look exactly like real Google AdSense ads 
with Google's standard ad styling and format. With that done, the ad placeholders are now successfully integrated into the website. Now let's integrate Google AdSense. Let's start by signing in to our Google AdSense account, entering site name, and clicking save. Then I'll grab the AdSense code snippet and place it into Replit. Once the code is in place, check the box and click Verify. After that, hit Request Review and click Submit. Now, all that's left is to wait for approval, which can take anywhere from a few days to two to four weeks. After the approval is granted, go back to your website and you should be able to see ads appearing in the designated spots. For now, we'll be using placeholders since Google verification takes a little time. All right, now that we've got the ads rolling, let's talk about Stripe. This is where things get really exciting exciting for users who want to unlock all the premium features like the full AI assistant and advanced scheduling tools. Now let's plug this prompt into Replit. Add Stripe to unlock premium features such as full access to the AI assistant and advanced scheduling tools for professional users. Use the Stripe checkout page for payment. To get started, I need to enter the Stripe secret key and public key. First, click the link to open the API keys under the Developers tab in the Stripe dashboard. Copy both keys and paste them into Replit. Then, click Continue. You can see here a Premium button will appear at the top right of the app interface and an Upgrade to Premium call to action will show up on Locked Features. If I click the Upgrade to Premium button, I'm redirected to a secure payment page where I can enter my billing info and complete the purchase. The page clearly displays the pricing plan, what's included in the premium package, and the payment details needed. Once the payment goes through, you'll see a confirmation message. Once the payment goes through, you'll see a confirmation message and all previously locked premium features are now unlocked. I can now click Start Using Premium Features and begin exploring everything available with my new premium plan. And to confirm the upgrade, a premium badge also shows up at the top of my dashboard, indicating that I have full access to all the advanced tools and services the app has to offer. And there you have it. We've set up the core features, integrated ads, and unlocked premium tools, but this is just the beginning. Now it's time for you to take these ideas and make them work for you. If you're ready to dive deeper, leave a comment and let's chat about what's next. And if you're into this kind of content, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. We've got plenty of more building ahead and I don't want you to miss out. See you next time, bye!